This is one of my favorite questions just because it's so unusual. But the answer here is very simple. You are presented with the set of eight circles. Six of the circles are visible and you need to select two missing ones. You have four different choices to find the missing circles. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the solution. Ready or not, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. To answer this question, we need to detect the pattern. And the pattern here is very simple. Each circle is broken down into sections with darker sections and lighter sections. And if you look closely, you will see that all circles are grouped in pairs. And the pattern is hidden in the sequence for circle pairs with each subsequent pair being similar to the previous one. Let's take a close look. To better understand the pattern, let's give each circle a unique number. If we start with the top row of circles, the numbers would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and the bottom row of circles will have numbers 5, 6, 7, and 8, with 7 and 8 being our missing pair. If you look closely at the circle 1, you will see that there is a dark section at the 2 o'clock. And circle 2 has two dark sections, one at noon and another one is at 2 o'clock. Similar pattern you see in circles 3 and 4. And then circles 5 and 6 also mimic the same pattern. Looking at possible answers, you see the choices A, B, C do not meet this pattern. And the only right answer that fits the pattern is choice D. Hopefully you've got to the same conclusion. And if you didn't, please make sure to post your answer and solution in comments. This is one of my favorite questions because it tests a variety of different skills in the test. Baseball bat and the ball together cost $1.10. But the bat is $1 more expensive than the ball. How much does the ball cost? You need to select one out of four possible choices. Choice A, five cents. Choice B, $1.05. Choice C, $1. And last but not least, choice D, $2.01. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. The answer to this question is very simple, but not obvious. The correct choice here is choice A. The cost of the ball is 5 cents. But how do you get to the correct solution mathematically? Let me teach you the magic trick behind this problem. Let's build a quick equation. The cost of a ball would be X. And since the bat costs $1 more, the cost of the bat would be x plus one dollar. Now we can take advantage of the fact that the ball and the bat together cost one dollar and ten cents. Bat plus ball would be equal x plus x plus one and would be equal one dollar and ten cents, which would mean the two x plus one would be equal one dollar and ten cents. If we simplify, we would find out that two x equals ten cents which basically means two ball equals 10 cents, which means that the cost of one ball, which means that the X equals five cents. That tells us that the cost of the ball is five cents and the cost of the bat is one dollar and five cents. Let's verify the main condition of this problem. Bat costs one dollar more than a ball, which is correct. Five cent plus one dollar and five cents equals one dollar and 10 cents. And if we subtract $1.05 minus 5 cents, it would be equal to $1. So the correct answer here is choice A. Cost of the ball is 5 cents. Hopefully you've nailed this problem and now know how to solve similar problems on the test. Let me share with you some interesting facts about legal profession you might consider bringing up to the hiring manager to increase your chances of being hired. Number one is that the word attorney comes from the Latin word Aternatus, which means appointed or designated. The second interesting fact is that the first female lawyer in the United States was Arabella Mansfield, who was admitted to the Iowa bar in 1869. Another interesting fact, number three, is that the oldest known legal code is the code of Yur Namu, which dates back to ancient Sumeria, and it was written around 2100 BC. The highest paid lawyer in the world is the managing partner of the Watchell, Lipton, Rosen and Cutts, who makes over $11 million a year. 
Number five interesting fact you can bring up during the job interview was that the longest lasting trial was over 20 years and then the shortest trial in history was only 11 minutes. Number six interesting fact about legal profession is that in some countries, lawyers are required to wear wigs and gowns when appearing in court. And last but not least, number seven interesting fact is that in the United States, it's illegal for lawyers to solicit clients in person or by phone. And now let's continue to get you ready for the assessment test. Here's an amazing problem to test your analytical skills as well as your business math skills. You're presented with the diamond that has shapes inside. The diamond, in addition to the shapes, also has numbers 25, 10, and 15 populated in some of the cells. On the outside of the diamond, there are numbers and starting from the 9 o'clock, the numbers are 39, 39 again, 33, 26, 21, 46, 26, 27, and 39. You need to calculate the values of the shapes and select the correct answer out of four possible choices. Choice A, the set of numbers 8, 7, 6, and 10 for circle heart, star, and diamond correspondingly. Choice B is represented by numbers 9, 7, 5, and 12. Choice C is 10, 9, 8, and 7. And last but not least, choice D is represented by the numbers 9, 7, 8, and 10. Take a close look, maybe pause this video to see if you can do the calculations. On my end, I can't wait and moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. As you might have figured out, the values for the shapes can be calculated. The numbers on the outside represent the sum of all the numbers in the rows. So, for example, if we take the first row with circle, 10, and heart, the sum of these values should be 26. But unfortunately, we can't use this row to do the calculations because there are two variables, circle and heart, which are unknown. So instead, let's focus on the middle horizontal row, which has values 25 and 2 hearts. Based on this, we can build the expression heart plus heart plus 25 equals 39. Using the math, we can calculate the two hearts equal 14 and heart equals 7. Knowing the value of the heart, we can expand our calculations and calculate the value of the circle as well as the value of the star. Let's build the expression for the middle row of the diamond. Circle plus heart plus 10 equals 26. Because value of the heart is known and equals to 7, we can calculate the value of the circle which would be equal to 9. Let's do the same for the value of the star. Star plus 15 plus heart equals 27. Because we know the value of the heart, which is 7, the value of the star is 5. And last but not least, let's calculate the value of the diamond. We know the value of the circle, which is 9, plus the value of the diamond, plus 25, should be equal 46. Based on these calculations, the value of the diamond is 12. I think we now know that the correct answer here is choice B, with values 9, 7, 5, and 12 for circle, heart, star, and diamond. But now, just for fun, let's verify that our calculations are correct. Let's calculate the value of the vertical row. Let's add the values of the circle, heart, and star. By adding 9 plus 7 plus 5, we get the value of the 21, which confirms our calculations. We get a lot of questions about accuracy of the employment assessment tests. Modern tests can be surprisingly accurate in measuring candidates' skills, abilities, and personality traits relevant to the position that they are applying for. However, they are not perfect, and there may be limitations or factors that can affect the accuracy of the tests. The accuracy of the employment assessment test can depend on several factors, including the type of the test, the quality of the test design, and the reliability and validity of the test. What is also very important is that employment assessment tests are just one aspect of the hiring process, and they should not be sole determiner of candidate suitability for the position. Other factors, such as the candidate's experience, qualification, and references should also be considered. 
Overall, while employment assessment tests help companies in evaluating candidates fit for the position, they should be used in conjunctions with other hiring methods to ensure a thorough and fair evaluation of each candidate. And this is the main reason a lot of companies use hiring tests during the hiring process. As you're probably well aware, the best way to prepare for the test is to practice questions that are similar to the test you're trying to take. And now let's continue to practice and get you ready for the assessment test. Here is an amazing question where we need to find the missing number. You're presented with the tree looking like structure and it has the numbers in the circles on the top. The numbers are, if we start from the left, 50, 216, 880 and then comes the missing number. You need to calculate and select the missing number out of four possible choices. Choice A, 1290. Choice B, 2565. Choice C, 2941. And last but not least, choice D, 3536. I'm gonna give you a quick hint. Take a close look to see what exactly do you see on this picture. And you see circles, you see stamps, and you see numbers. And here's another consideration. Do you think the fact that circles have different colors matters or it doesn't? Give yourself 10 to 15 seconds to see if you can figure it out. On my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. The pattern here is rather simple, but it takes a little bit of time to detect it. If we start from the left, from the smallest number, and go clockwise, the next number is calculated as a previous value multiplied by the total number of lines plus total number of circles. Let's look at the example. The first number is 50 in the purple circle, and it's given, not calculated. The second number, though, is calculated previous number 50 multiplied by 4 plus 16, and the result of this is 216. Third number is calculated as 216 multiplied by 4 plus 16 and equals 880. Now you might be wondering what is 4 and where it came from and what is 16. The 4 is number of stem lines in this structure. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And 16 is the total number of circles. If you count them, you see four circles on the forefront, the ones that have number and missing number. And then there are also 12 circles in the background. Now we have all of this information and we can calculate the missing number. It is calculated as 880 multiplied by 4, then we add 16, and the end result of this is 3536. So the correct answer here is choice D, 3536. Hopefully you've nailed this problem and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. But in case you need more challenges like this, please make sure to check out the description for additional resources. To get ready for an assessment test, you want to make sure that you practice with the tests that most accurately resemble the actual assessment. This is why we partnered with the best vendor in the industry, Job Test Prep, known for accuracy in their practice assessments. Job Test Prep tests are designed to simulate the actual employment assessment used by many companies. One of the key advantages of using Job Test Prep tests is that they closely mirror the format, content, and difficulty level of the actual assessment tests. To start practicing using job test prep assessments, please type the link in your browser howtoanalyzedata.net slash job test prep or use links in the description of this video. And now let's continue to get you ready for the assessment test. Here's an absolutely phenomenal question which is absolutely not obvious how to solve it. Instead of one question mark, you need to find two question marks. You're presented with three triangles. All triangles have a circle on the top. Blue triangle has three numbers inside. Starting from the top, the numbers are three, seven, and four. And number on the top is six. Yellow triangle has numbers two, four, and two. And there is a missing number on the top. Green triangle has numbers five, nine, and four and missing number on the top. Take a close look to see if you can find two missing number 
and select out of four different choices. Choice A, 10 and 4. Choice B, 1 and 8. Choice C, 6 and 3. And choice D, 2 and 2. Do you know the answer? I gotta tell you, the answer is not really obvious. But I know how smart you are, and together we should be able to solve it. Are you ready? Hear me out. The pattern here is that to calculate the number on the top of the triangle, you need to use inside the upper number, add it to the number on the right, and then you should subtract the left number. For example, for the blue triangle, which has all the numbers, the calculations will be 3 plus 7 minus 4 equals 6. For the green triangle, the calculations will be 5 plus 9 minus 4 equals 10. And for the yellow triangle, the calculations will be 2 plus 4 minus 2 equals 4. So the correct choice here is answer A, 10 and 4. Did you figure it out? Please make sure to post your answer, rationale, and thought process in comments. Here's the question of intermediate complexity we frequently see on the test. You're presented with four shapes, and one shape has a missing number in the middle. You need to calculate the pattern and calculate the missing number, selecting it by one of four possible choices. Choice A, 22. Choice B, 23. Choice C, 25. And then last but not least, choice D, 24. Take a close look at the shapes and see if you can calculate the pattern. Let me share with you my logic and rationale, and obviously if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to share in comments. I think the pattern here is that to calculate the middle number, you need to multiply the top two numbers and subtract one. Then add the bottom number. Let's look at the first shape to confirm the logic. 2 multiplied by 3 minus 1 equals 5. 5 plus 2, which is the bottom number, equals the middle number, which is 7. Let's apply the same pattern to the shape with the missing number. 8 multiplied by 3 minus 1 equals 24 minus 1 equals 23. 23 plus 2 equals the missing number, which means that the missing number is 25. So the correct choice here is choice C, 25. Did you see any other patterns or found the better ways to solve it? Please make sure to post your answer and rationale in comments. A lot of viewers on this channel ask me how to increase their IQ scores. Even though methods might be different from person to person, let me share with you three ways that help me to stay in shape. I love listening to classical music. I believe that this helps improve your analytical skills as well as spatial reasoning skills. Also, I like playing sports and I go to the gym to do vigorous exercises. I think this helps me to increase oxygen levels in the blood as well as to keep your brain more active. After a certain age, staying active helps you to increase your reactions as well as IQ. And last but not least, I like to stay hydrated. I drink a lot of green tea, Earl Grey tea, coffee, and vitamin water throughout the day to help me stay energized. You can use these tips to prepare specifically for the test or to change your daily habits and stay sharper day after day. Do you have tips of your own on how to keep your brain in shape? Please make sure to share in comments so we can all learn. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. Here is the famous four square triangle question that you frequently see on the test. You are presented with four triangles. In each triangle, there is a smaller triangle which breaks it down into four parts. Each part has a number. And in one small triangle, the number is missing. The first triangle has numbers 3, 2, 11, and number 1 in the middle. The second triangle has numbers 7, 4, 53, and then number 5 in the middle. The third triangle has numbers 11, 6, 127, and number 5 in the middle. And then there is a fourth triangle, which has the missing number, but also has numbers 15, 8, and 7. Can you take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer? One tip for you is that you do not need to guess the number, but rather you need to calculate it. And you need to select the calculated number out of four different choices. Choice A, 225. Choice B, 232. Choice C, 233. And then last but not least, choice D, 240. Take a close look to see if you can solve this challenge. Are you ready or not? 
Regardless, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. As you might have guessed, to solve this challenge, you need to find the pattern. And the pattern is that if you add the middle number and the top number inside the small triangles, then put them into the bottom left corner of the triangle, and then square the bottom left corner number and add the top number. Seems a little complicated, and it is. The best way to understand it is to look at the example. Let's look at the first triangle. 2 plus 1 equals 3. 3 square equals 9. And 9 plus 2 equals 11. Armed with this information, let's find the missing number. First, let's add 8 plus 7, top and the middle numbers. 8 plus 7 equals 15. And you can confirm this calculation by looking at 15 in the bottom left corner of the triangle. 15 square equals 225. And then based on this information, to find the missing number, we need to add 8, which is the number in the top of the triangle, plus 255, which is the calculated number. So the final number will be 233. Now let me share with you some tips and tricks on how to better solve these types of challenges. You see that the triangles are of a different color. And colors here are only to confuse you. There is no other reasons the colors should be there, so you can completely ignore them. Another trick might be, typically when you look at these types of challenges, you limit your calculations to just adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing numbers. Keep in mind that there is always a possibility of square numbers and then square root of the number. And it's good to remember squares of particular numbers, probably up to 20. This way you can manipulate them in your head without using the calculator. Do you have any other tips and tricks on how to better solve these types of challenges? Please make sure to share in comments so we can all learn. I get a lot of questions on how assessment tests are used in the hiring process. I would like to highlight three important areas companies use assessment tests. They use them for hiring and employment decisions. For example, hiring manager or HR might choose to test the candidate before hiring them to ensure a candidate is a good fit for the position. Second way to use it is grow talent inside the organization. For example, some companies use the test before making hiring decisions to promote the candidate. And last but not least, the third way to use it is to determine levels of motivation. For example, if your company is looking to implement a new system or technology, it might be helpful to assess people on their interests and motivation related to this technology. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. Here's an excellent question to test your math skills as well as numerical reasoning skills. You need to count all $1 bills as well as quarters. And you need to determine how much money does clerk have. You have four different choices. Choice A, $12.25. Choice B, $16.25. Choice C, $18.25. And last but not least, Choice D, $21.25. Make sure to pause this video and count all the dollar bills in the air as well as coins on the ground. Give yourself 15 to 20 seconds to see if you can come up with the solution. I did my counting. Did you do yours? Let me explain you my version of the solution. And if you have a different answer, please make sure to post in comments. I counted 12 $1 bills as well as 25 quarters. Let me count them all for you. Let's start with the dollar bills. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now let's do the same thing for the quarters. Let's start with the left side, which has 15 quarters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And now let's do the same thing, but for the right side, which has 10 quarters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And now we are ready to do the math. Obviously, 12 $1 bills is $12. 15 quarters is $3.75. 10 quarters is $2.50. $12 plus 250 plus 375 equals 1825. 
Did you count differently? Do you have a different answer? Please make sure to post your solution in comments. As you might be well aware, one of the fastest way to get ready for the test is by practicing. And learning by practicing helps you understand key patterns used in the test to be prepared to anticipate different questions. There are only limited number of patterns that can be used in the test, and you can learn about all of them by using ebooks for your practice. If you are in a rush and need to get for your test faster, please make sure to check out available resources at howtoanalyzedata.net. Our team of experts created this training materials based on the years of research and they kept up to date with the questions employers use on the current assessment tests. Thanks for your endorsement, support, and patronage. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. Here is an amazing question which truly tests your analytical skills. You are presented with four sets of 3 by 3 matrices. Each matrix has nine numbers. And in matrix 4, there are three missing numbers that you need to calculate. You are presented with four different choices. Choice A, missing numbers might be 54, 68, and 105. Choice B, missing numbers might be 55, 78, and 97. Choice C is represented by the numbers 69, 80, and 115. And then choice D is 74, 88, and 125. Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe 20 to 30 seconds by pausing this video to see if you can come up with the solution. And as usual, I am moving forward to reveal you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. I think it's very obvious and you probably recognize the pattern that's happening here. Numbers are calculated based on the formula. If we break down the matrix into columns A, B and C and then add numbers to the rows 1, 2 and 3, the formula can be summarized as B1 is calculated as A1 multiplied by 3 and C1 is calculated as B1 minus 4. So to calculate the missing numbers in row 1, we need to multiply 18 by 3, which would equal 54, and then 54 minus 4 equals 50. For row 2, the calculations will be 24 multiplied by 3 equals 72, and then 72 minus 4 equals 68. And last but not least, row 3 is calculated as 35 multiplied by 3 equals 105, and 105 minus 4 equals 101. So the correct answer is choice A, 54, 68, and 105. Thanks for watching. If the content was helpful, please give us a like and consider subscribing. This is the way for you to tell us that you need more content like this and we'll make sure to deliver it for you in the future. For links and resources referenced in this video, please check the description. You can also go directly to our website, howtoanalyzedata.net, to find what you're looking for and download the materials. We really thank you for your endorsement, support, and patronage of this channel. Please leave feedback, suggestions, or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.